The quake that devastated Haiti earlier this year was 7.0, which makes the massive 8.8 .8 quake in Chile about 500 times stronger. So is this quake activity something Americans should be concerned about? Back here, joining us now is Dr. Marsha McNutt, director of the U.S. Geolog Geological Survey. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. It is interesting because uh, of information technology. We know about quakes as they happen all over the planet. We have one happen in Haiti, very close by. Chile is not so, so far away. Is the big one headed our way? Well, Harry, it's really not a matter of if but when mm -hmm. a major earthquake strikes the people of the United States. And we have to use these earthquakes as learning moments to better prepare the people of the United States for such a catastrophe. And every time one of these earthquakes happens to our neighbors, we do learn something. And as tragic as these events are, and our hearts go out to the people of Haiti, as well as to the people of Chile, we are learning a lot from both of these events. Is there more seismic activity? Well, um, yes, and, and I think we, we do sense that there is a lot happening right now. I mean, I think the people of the USGS just wish we'd sort of have a break right now right. Uh, with a major earthquake in January and now one in February. Mm -hmm. um, we do know that earthquakes um, are not completely randomly um, distributed in space as well as time. Mm. And this does seem to be a sort of active period. Um, but if you look at it through the lens of geologic time, mm. it, it does blink. average it's out. It's a blink of an eye. Right, right. On the other hand, compare these two quakes. The, we have the one in Haiti that's so close to the surface versus this one in, in, uh, in Chile, which is so far down and, and yes. down even on the seabed. That makes the, a huge difference. Also, infrastructure makes a big difference yes. in term, terms of the damage. Yes. Well, the, the good news in Chile was, of course, building codes. And um, while the earthquake in Chile was a little deeper, we are talking about a, an absolutely massive earthquake compared to the one in Port-au-Prince. And had the buildings in Chile been built to the standards of the one in Haiti, mm -hmm. that massive earthquake would have caused untold destruction. Wow. And the good news there is with the building codes they had in Chile, they are going to come out so much better than would have been the case. Mm -hmm. And, and that is basically what we're seeing coming out of Chile, is that the vast majority of the buildings did stand. Dr. McNutt, thank you very much for your expertise this morning. We thank do you. appreciate it.